Right, thank you very much for speaking to me. Yeah, you just finished your recording with Pei Ling, the, the studio engineer. How do you come to prepare this particular piece of music and the choice of the repertoire? We wanted to do something fun, and so the song I sang, Lonely House, is not actually for a female voice, it's for a male mm. voice. But because this project is about, you know, taking something and making it your own, we thought it would be fun to just try bending it a little bit, you know. I think sometimes classical music can be so strict with the rules and stuff like that. So we just really wanted to play and have fun. Um, and with the theme of home songs, we thought that, you know, Lonely House is really apt because you can be in a house that's full of people, but you can be very lonely or you can be completely alone and be not lonely. So we just thought that it resonated with the theme in quite a different way, right? It's not about a longing for home or anything like that, but it's just about home. What is house and, and what is it to be in a home? Yes, and so for the pianist, is there some musical interest in this particular piece? Um, well, um, personally, I, I really like this song very much. I feel like, uh, although as Maura said, it was actually initially written for male voice, she actually brought out like the feminine kind of like touch in it that really works. And playing wise, um, I love like I love how this piece can be like quite flexible. You know, you can like really showcase like the, the jazzy chords and then it's much more flexible and much more free as compared to like a classical or a baroque piece. Mm. Which makes it really interesting for us. Then we can take it in our hands and make it our own as she said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, yes. and, and like Pauline said, we brought a feminine side to it. You know, I think it's quite like smooth and sleek mm. and, and mysterious. Mm. So that's nice. Yes. Alright, that's great. Oh, you have been working together for a very long time, but the, it is your first time working with uh, Pei our sound engineer. Yes. How, how is the, the, the dynamics this morning? How is the, the nego negotiation of, of the uh, interpretation? So I worked with Pei before many many years ago like five yes. years ago and i feel that the way um, palin records really captures my voice very well and mm. there's a very like good sensitivity to just sound and, and music in general and the balance and yeah i really really like enjoy mm. were you used to the distance between the microphone and the um, um, piano yeah i think now it's it's really quite common with so much recording um, work being done it, the, like you know we've had all configurations two meters uh, three meters the <laughs> microphone yeah. is there the, like you're mm. facing one way you cannot look at the person because of mm. droplets do you get more eye contact mm. um, of course or ideally or we would love the singer to be very near the pianist but if we cannot like today it actually works because I can hear her so well she's facing me and then she has the mic I thought mm. the positioning works for us and then mm -hmm. for the recording as well Mm. And Pelinda was has been hugely professional, and she's very kind. She's very easy to talk to, and she asks us for feedback. And we ask her for feedback. I mean, we really enjoyed the process. Yes. Today. Yeah. yeah. And musically, fun. musically, did she, how did she contribute musically to the interpretation of the song, or at all? I think the interpretation was more up to mm. Moira and myself. Yeah. Right. But but so I think uh, I really felt like she gave us the space. I didn't feel mm. like okay, we have to record now. Yeah. Like, I didn't feel that pressure that yeah. sometimes you mm. can get from a sound engineer. Yeah. It's like, I just want to clock this hour and yeah. go. But she was really just like, take your yeah. time, do what you need to do. and then She made us feel comfortable. I think yeah. that's a huge so plus. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So now that you have recorded uh, set at a distance, do you think that such a format is conducive in a performance, live performance uh, for setting? 
No, I don't no. think so because it, when we are so um, like interlocked or so engaged, then we lose the audience completely. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this format works so yeah. well. Yeah, I think if you are performing live, you mm. should be closer together mm. and should be you should look and also right, sound so like an item, like a team, like yeah. really together, not like oh. separate. Mm-hmm. So you still see it as a stage audience. Um, um, format as opposed to two characters. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yes, of course. Versus I think it's also easier for the audience to enjoy it. So, so yeah. No? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm.